that is happening to the uh, you know church because here's the thing what the the sword is supposed to cut I don't know if you know what the sword is supposed to cut well the sword is supposed to cut the flesh yes it's supposed to uh, a, a, a sword or a knife is used to and even the sword is used to cut and a uh, cut a person's flesh they fight with it to joust to stab and kill a flesh you know what I'm saying a sword is supposed to be utilized to fight fight with and to defend with for the sake of you know killing a flesh that's what sword's been doing throughout human history in medieval times and I believe now you know the sword is known for as a weapon that is supposed to kill flesh it's created to kill flesh you know what I'm saying not comfort it you see when you kill people with the flesh and you they're supposed to, it's supposed to kill the flesh and get people to rely on the spirit you see yes the spirit yes remember that spirit that Jesus said to his disciples people that are learning to be disciplined people are learning to be disciplined the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak see the the word of God is supposed to get rid of and cut up our flesh you know what I'm saying that it's no longer us involved in the situation but only Christ in us is supposed to be the objective of Christianity if we truly want to fulfill our purpose as Christians the flesh has to be removed I, I, I think the cross is supposed to speak in volumes concerning the act of Jesus Christ dying on the cross killing his flesh to giving us an ideal that we got to get rid of our flesh and how many scriptures in the Bible that talks about getting rid of a flesh and operating the spirit is crazy how many times they mention that but the church is using this you know what it says in Hebrews uh, 4 and 12 to comfort people now yes the word of God is supposed to comfort us and when we are going through situations and circumstances that's beyond our beyond us and you know that difficult uh, tra you know we need the word of God to comfort us to make sure that God has everything under control God is taking care of the situation in spite of how bad that it is he's going to take care of it and you don't have to worry about what's going on that he's on the throne and he's going to take care of every situation you know you know no matter what's going on God is on the throne and he is going to take care and handle situations and make things right that went wrong that rhymed in but the word of God is not it is it can come for you but it can also cut you and certain people are not getting cut by the word of God they're you know they're doing too much for it to comfort for the sake of gaining people that desires to live by the flesh and not by the spirit you know what I'm saying they're utilizing that you know they're utilized that you know for for a purpose to gather people that we can sort of kind of live in the flesh and somewhat in the spirit unfortunately that church systems have now un have now developed this ideal that we are not really being engaged in true spiritual warfare you know we're not the church is not really engaged in true spiritual warfare it's allowing the uh, uh, dark system to um is allowing the dark system to uh you know is allowing the dark system to uh continue to uh exist you know not trying to get rid of the dark system and it's sad to what extent that is it doing that you know and the problem is we need to under i mean it's not I mean, look, let the, let, like I said, let the outcome speak for itself, you know? Let the outcome speak for itself of what's going on. You good? You good? 
let the outcome speak for itself of the world we live in to see how much we're not using our source how much we're not going to war against the kingdom of darkness well the evidence of how much confusion conflict and chaos satan still and killing destroying you know ran rapidly as you see the reports on the news of the bad situations that are happening around us how satan is you know uh taking lives by the billions each and every day and the dismal conditions that people are living in spiritually naturally emotionally physically showing the evidence of how much t t a territory darkness and spiritual darkness is taking over showing that a sword is not being used a sword is not being on the, on the attack being offensive against darkness it's it's laying back to allow this world system to continue its negative influence and not trying to combat the forces of the kingdom of darkness is what you should see in yourself if you operate in the spirit and like i said if you are of the kingdom of heaven you're supposed to be at war is there's no like oh i'm trying to be famous or oh i'm trying to uh live i'm trying to you know live life you know i'm trying to get a job i'm trying to become successful at this i'm trying to be look good in the eyes of people like this no in the kingdom of god it's strictly war i mean ephesians 6 i mean are you serious it says put on the whole armor of god it's so many scriptures in the bible that talks us to put on the whole armor of god it's so much war scriptures inside the new testament it's crazy that when people that you see christians they just like well, war go to war against the kingdom of darkness it just doesn't make sense to them you know what i'm saying it's just um, no i got things to do on this earth i got things to do i got school to go to i got job to go to i got my own thing that i'm doing over here to go to there is no war uh war minded is not a war minded mindset and in, in christianity really a legitimate war mindset in christianity that it needs to be if if it's going to be about the kingdom of god if it's going to be about heaven if it's going to be about truly eliminating darkness if we are truly the light as we know the light conquers darkness and the natural if we're truly the light it's not you can tell that there is no war because there's too much darkness is being influenced and being performed by too many people that is not you know no uh counter action to that force you know what i'm saying like you know it says the kingdom of heaven suffer with violence and the violence take it by force but should we be taking it by force if we are of the kingdom of heaven if we do about if we are kingdom citizens if we understand that the armor of god is supposed to be something but we're supposed to use the fight against the principalities and the powers and the rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places is do we truly see those enemies do you know what your enemy really looks like i mean this church system is not really seeing it and not really going after it it's operating in the passive religious system that's been happening in the time of jesus christ a passive religious system that will allow the the greek empire the roman empire to establish its influence in uh, hi uh jewish history now uh Hanukkah is coming up. I'm going to uh, talk about Hanukkah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I truly believe in the act of Hanukkah and what happened that needs to happen right now. You know what I'm saying? Concerning, you know, uh, a man named Matthias, you know what I'm saying? Got sick and tired of this Greek system trying to uh, 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 force their influence of worshiping Zeus and slaughtering a pig in the in israel the the place god's uh land the god of israel land you're worshiping zeus in there you know what i'm saying going on and that he got fed up and he did something uh, made, did a radical move that i'm going to be about and as who those whosoever that's about 3h nation is about being radical with our faith being radical to really actually fight the good fight as what paul says not to sit back and you know 
uh, uh, get comfortable to conform to this world system, but to fight the good fight. You know what I'm saying? Concerning with our source, to utilize our source. And our source is our words. Our words that speak truth. And truth that's supposed to slice and cut and devour or slice and dice whatever flesh that people spit that flesh concerning the lies. You know what I'm saying? Of this, the lies of that, this world system can get out this lies, can put out the lies of giving you reasons to do things based upon the desires of the lust of the flesh they're telling you this lies that you know if you fulfill the desires of the lust of the flesh your life is going to get better you know what i'm saying but you're you're going to operate in sin but the wages of sin is death bam you know what i'm saying you you are in the uh the enemy has got you you know what i'm saying the enemy has has destroyed you you know what i'm saying and the thing is the, we're supposed to speak the word of God, the word of God of truth with a sharp two-edged sword. When the other edge of the sword gets dull, we'll just flip it around and start slicing with the other edge. There you go. But we need to be about this two-edged sword. Here's one side of your sword, the double one, two. See, one, two. These are... This is your ones and two, your lips supposed to speak the word of God as what it says in Ephesians 6, that the, the sword is the word of God in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? We need to be speaking the word of God and speaking in spirit and truth, the truth of God's word to come against the fleshly influence that is being influenced in the day that people are believing that the lust of the flesh is going to make them better but it's going to make them worse and bitter and terrible and make terrible decisions of their life and destroy their life those that are truly sincere about using the sword of the lord you know what i'm saying that it, you should be a part of the 3h nation because we are going to use these swords we're going to use these swords to speak the truth we're going to use these swords to praise the lord to exalt the name of the lord the lord thy god is great and greatly to be praised and when we see and when they see god at his greatness and we we start doing great things in the public arena the public arena now we start really truly be about going to war you know concerning they're like oh what is these christians doing going outside in public saying jesus christ is lord that god that jesus christ can save you from all your sins and jesus christ can do anything you know what i'm saying outside the four walls is what truly the sword of the lord is supposed to be utilized to truly combat the enemies of darkness that is not happening in the church it's just gonna keep everybody in the events and keep the church the christians this way why the sinners and are multiplying and operating in sin and and wickedness over here and, and these you know places of evil bars and clubs and whatever places of negativity happening they're trying to keep those places occupied you know what i'm saying and get people you know caught up in darkness as best way as possible but it's time to utilize our sword sword for war and not so much for comfort you know what i'm saying yes we comfort those and and, and to give them correction i believe you know yeah, i think correction is supposed to be a comfort i mean david said thy rod thy stat thy comfort me that the rod represent correction correct me if i'm doing this wrong thing that is of sin that is not you know making me a better christian correction is supposed to be the proper comfort but that's another message but the thing is we need to be about the sword for real and really truly go to war with this sword and sharpening this two edged sword to truly combat the kingdom of darkness and that's these two lips and speaking the word of God, praising the name of the Lord Jesus, declaring that God is great and greatly to be praised, saving, speaking to the lost, shining a light in darkness, you know what I'm saying? Doing, uh, you know, ministering the word of God to the utmost way, giving the glory and honor and praise each and every day, don't care what the people might say. Be about going to war with your sword, two-edged sword. And that's what I'm all about, and I hope you be about it. And that's the message. God be the glory, him forever and ever, in Jesus' name. Amen. Sh strike with the two-edged sword for your Lord, if you truly serve the Lord.
as for me and my house, Joshua's house, we will serve the Lord. Be blessed.